Hey everyone, welcome to our PMOD monthly video for May. PMOD monthly is our video series where we talk about different uh, PMOD projects, what PMODs we use on them, and then we offer a promo code at the end of the video. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Today we're talking about the PMOD racing ruler, uh, which uses a lot of different Digilent products. Uh, the highlights are the PMOD dual H bridge, which can drive uh, two DC motors simultaneously. Also the PMOD ACL, which is a digital accelerometer. And then this nifty guy is the Chipkit C mod. It's a PIC32 microcontroller and a couple of PMOD ports all on a board the size of about a gum stick. So it's very convenient. So this is James Colvin's project. He's gonna go through in more detail everything that you see here, but those are some of the highlights. Take it away, James. I'm James Colvin, and today we're gonna check out a cool project that I had the opportunity to make, the PMOD Racing Ruler. In this project, the idea is to make a small, lightweight drag racer using Digilent products. In this video, we're going to follow through with my design process, so feel free to follow along. However, if you have any comments about how this project could be improved, or if you have your own idea to make a completely new racer, we would love to see your designs. So let's get started. Here are the materials that you'll need to get. Two Digilent PCB rulers, a chip kit C mod, a PMOD DHB1, a PMOD ACL, two DC motors and their brackets, two wheels that fit the DC motors, two dolly wheels and a front axle, a 9 volt battery, zip ties, extra wires, electrical tape, and a soldering iron. The Digilent PCB rulers make a great chassis for two main reasons. The first is that they are a small but lightweight and sturdy component that is appropriately sized for a small racer. The second is that you can mount components onto them as well as being able to actually route power to those components through the ruler itself. You can even solder things onto the PCB. But just having a super convenient chassis does not make a speedy racer. That's where the DC motors and wheels come in. At this point, we could add our power source and then be done with our project. But all we would have then is a racer that goes when the power is turned on and stops when the power is turned off. Boring. I don't know about you, but this sounds a little lackluster to me. I prefer to have a little more interaction with my projects, so I wanted to implement a way to be able to control which direction the racer was driving. To accomplish this, I used a Chipkit C mod, which is a small breadboardable microcontroller to communicate with a PMOD DHB1, a dual H-bridge module, so I could control both motors simultaneously. While this is all well and good, it's still not quite enough for me. All too often I see small racers run themselves into walls or corners and get themselves stuck, all the while draining their batteries as they spin their wheels uselessly. I wanted to have this racer be able to detect when it bumped into an object and stop its motors automatically. That's where the PMOD ACL comes in. It has built-in interrupt capabilities so that when a sharp spike or dip is detected, it sends an interrupt to the microcontroller. The CMOD then services the interrupt and stops the motors. I ran into some initial problems with my design because, and found I needed to change the default sensitivity of the PMOD so that it didn't detect all the bumps on the carpet or when the racer first leapt off the starting line. After a few iterations of these changes though, I'm very happy with how the project turned out. But this is just one project. Surely there are other ways to build a faster, more powerful racer. Or does this PMOD racing ruler reign supreme? Thanks, James. If you'd like to take James up on his challenge, um, you can see the link below the video in the description to the instructable that he's created, which will take you step by step through how he uh, designed this project. You'll also see a second link below that will take you to a wish list on our website, which includes all of the products you need to recreate this. We have two promotion codes this month. One is for the entire project. So if you cart the wish list, enter in at checkout the promo code PMOD Racing Ruler, and you will get 30% off the entire project. If you would prefer to simply buy the accelerometer or the dual H bridge PMODs. Uh, alone, then you can also get 30% off those. And that promo code 
is PMOD Monthly May 16. So again, two different promotional codes, one to discount the entire project at 30%, and that one is PMOD Racing Ruler, one to discount just the PMODs at 30%, and that is PMOD Monthly May 16. Both run for the duration of the entire month of May, so take advantage. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on Digilance products and services. See you next month. Thanks.